So how does the structure work? You're going to sit down, you're going to take a first module that is reading and writing. It's always gonna be 27 questions. It's always gonna be 32 minutes. And that is going to be a medium difficulty module. So the questions are roughly medium difficulty. Depending on how the student does on that module, the test will then give the student a easy or a hard second module. And this is the nature of the adaptivity. It's not a question by question adaptivity where the test changes at every question depending on how the student does. It's only this one moment, this branching moment that you see in the lower left hand corner of the screen. Depending on how the student did, you then get served up an easy or a hard module. And this is actually how the test achieves one of its most significant structural changes, which is that it is a vastly shorter test. As you can see, if you do some quick math and add all this up, the test comes out to about two hours and 15 minutes. It's a lot shorter than the current test, which is more than three hours long. So they've been able to achieve this brevity by creating this adaptive structure. And we'll get into that more a little bit later on, but what it means is that a student is going to take in that second module questions that are more suited to them. If they got lots of questions wrong in the first module, what's the point of them just taking lots of hard questions? The test knows they're gonna get most of them wrong. So it's better to give them more easy questions to see where in that range they fall. Then there's a break. And then the same thing happens for math, a medium first module followed by this adaptive branch and then a easy or a hard second module. 